All right, my dudes, it's time to officially have the talk. <laughs> All right, in this video, we're going to be discussing the latest and most recent findings about Kronos Zen. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. Then the forums for Discord and the Chrono Zen servers and all that and whatever are definitely popping off at the moment because everyone is genuinely scared, and maybe they should be. But I figure it's a good idea to set some expectations for the viewers that don't know me, who've only heard about me in passing or indirectly. Uh, I am a coach, master personal trainer, and a human movement specialist. I put that into my YouTube channel as something that is competitive and advantageous for gaming, and I've been connecting the dots ever since. I tend to look at things with an objective lens, before I look at something through the ethical lens. Now, I know that doesn't sound right to you. It doesn't mean I don't value the ethical lens. It just means that facts speak more to me than something that could be considered subjective or emotional. That's how high-level trainers and coaches are taught to think. If you look at anything less than objectively, your highly paid athletes will lose their position, their money, and you'll probably be out of a job. Out of the three titles that I have, coaching is the role that I choose to use for YouTube videos and content, mixed in with complete transparency about how things are done in the competitive realm of gaming. There's a bit of subjectivity there because it has to do with myself as well as my own experiences within the competitive realm, but I also track back how things have been going and how things have been utilized in the past with gaming and esports and everything else. This is where Chrono Sen comes into play. How could I objectively look at this little device and think it's okay for people to use it? That's actually quite easy to answer. The facts show that no one is getting banned for using it. No one's been banned for using it in the 10 years that the product has been around. Bungie's own terms of service and code of conduct do not mention it specifically or even regarding peripheral devices or attachment devices as bannable offenses. Now here's an example from their own code of conduct of the things that they consider to be a violation of code that is cheating or hacking in some form. None of those mention Chrono Zen, and that will be a very easy fix. It's a line of dialogue to put into your code of conduct that says this is a bad thing. So combine the fact that nobody gets banned, it's not mentioned anywhere, it's only assumed, I guess, because players do or do not like it, we're looking at something that has either flown under the radar for this long, or it is legitimately allowed and people just don't like it. If you were a coach of somebody, and you knew that players were using this against you, they were not being banned for it for the last 10 years, wouldn't you want to know about it? Wouldn't you want to use it so you had the same advantage against someone that you know could be using that advantage against you? In a game mode like Trials? In a game mode like Comp? Is it just me? Am I wrong? Or would you rather fight fire with fire and play on a level playing field with your competitive? If you answered that you'd rather lose, then you are in fact just a casual gamer. Gaining the same competitive edge that your enemy has only makes sense. That's where my head was at when I started creating videos about it, when I started talking about it, and when I started showing everybody what it is, what it isn't, and how to use it. I don't know if that gives you a proper understanding of where I'm coming from. Some of you are going to view me as scummy either way. I actually completely understand that. But know this. If you want to see a complete review of the product itself, I did one of those. It's called Chrono Zen, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Uh, I go over what is good, what is bad, what is ugly. I give those exact definitions so you guys can see what I placed, you know, values and parameters on. And I do discuss everything in there, including the fact that this could be used as cheating, in a way. But the way that it's typically used, yes, there are accessibility options. No, not everyone uses it for that. The YouTubers who talk about it, in a negative sense, are in fact being hypocritical. You want to know why I call them hypocrites? They're claiming that they just now found out about these things. Bullshit. They knew about them the whole time. The streamers were using them so they can gain an advantage to do trials carries, which is how they make their living. Everybody else was upset that I was pulling traffic from them and putting attention on something that is a competitive advantage. Look, there's a lot of type of liars in the world. A lot of these guys fall into the category of lies of omission, which means they chose not to tell you. 
They only realized, when they had a risk of discovery, that they suddenly made their hypocritical claims of innocence. Are you really gonna sit there and tell me these guys are completely innocent when they've done nothing to stop the thing that they apparently have such a strong opinion about? Come on, man. Let's be a little more honest about some things here. I guess we should look at it this way. Is it possible that they were completely unaware this thing existed and it flew under the radar even from them? The guys that both do this for a living and have been competitively gaming for so long that, wow, I just didn't know this was a real thing. Sure, sure, that, that, that's possible. Is that likely? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me, dude. There's no way you're that naive. They've known about it for years. In fact, I learned about it from one of them because I used to help them in Destiny 1 do trials carries. I was against it back then and I used to tell the guy I played with, you're going to get banned for this. That was eight years ago, seven years ago, something like that. This guy is still playing and making content on his YouTube channel to this day. Look, I'm not here to call nobody out. I'm just telling you, after eight, nine, or even ten years of this device being around and used, that nothing's ever been done. So, you can either think of it as, it's a bad thing, it's scummy, people that beat me that are using it are also scummy, or you can fight fire with fire, which is how I describe it. Whether you agree with that or not, that's completely up to you. That is how I would do it as a coach. If someone's taking creatine, for example, as a supplement, and they are doing better in the gym with strength training, creatine is legal. It's a performance enhancing supplement. It's not steroids. You'd probably recommend to your athletes to take a really close look at it and to see if it's the right fit for them. If you didn't tell them that as a coach, you're doing them a disservice. It's that simple. All right, enough of the mess. Let's get into the major point of this video. Call of Duty, Activision, thinks it's cheating. That's a clear line in the sand. Very clear. I find that to be commendable. They followed Fortnite, Epic Games, and moving forward with their battle against cheaters. Great. Bungie apparently is doing the same thing, or at least they're taking a look at it. That is literally all I wanted. I wanted the transparency to be there so that we all know what's considered to be legitimate competitive play, which this would fall into the permissible category unless otherwise said so, and what's considered to be over the line. If the line is Chronos Zen and Zim are no longer considered to be acceptable and they are called out and mentioned by name, yes, I will admit to everybody that I was wrong and that the videos that I made about it apparently were also wrong. You don't get to look backwards in time and change things. I made my choice. I knew exactly what choice I was making. I chose this for a number of reasons, which I mentioned already in this video. But let's say that things actually get done. Let's say that my videos brought enough attention to the Kronos, to Zim, to these devices. My videos have garnered a lot of attention. Guess what, my dudes? I am the devil that you all needed. I helped make change. And I will choose to see it that way. You can hate me all you want, but the fact is, without my videos, nothing would have changed. You would have still been fighting these guys unfairly and you wouldn't have known about it. People would still be buying these devices in droves, using them effectively against you, and you'd be wondering why you suck at PvP. And that may not be the truth. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I've been posting, uh, this video right here specifically, all the gameplay clips, or funny clips in my opinion, a bunch of lag, a bunch of silliness, people hitting me with dune marchers from 50 meters out, stuff like that. This game is designed to be silly, fun, kind of stupid, I really enjoy it. I am very, very hopeful that I don't get banned, that they don't ban retroactively for me showing people how to use this. But if they do, that's fine. It sucks, but I'll accept it. This is the bed that I made. I'll lay in it. Have a good one, dudes. Keep it zen out there.